Hi there, I'm Matt. This is my 2005 Acura EL. Of things we know. So the Acura EL, for those that don't know, is a sort of ultimate edition of the ES1 sedan platform. It has rear disc brakes, which none of the Civic coupes or um, sedans had, and also has a bit different uh, front fascia bumpers, rear bumpers, different trunk lid, and uh, darker headlights, which I'm not sure if they're the same size as the 2001 to 2003 Civics or not but uh, they look to be about the same size and they have fog lights and signal lights clustered together in the bumper as well which was different than the Civic. Day to day driving which is what I use this for primarily is driving to and from work. It's it's great. It's it's a perfect car for taking for a short trip on the highway too and uh, it's plenty comfortable for me. Um, I'm gonna take you for a quick walk around the car now and uh, I'll show you just sort of a few things that are wrong with it and some of the unique features of the Canada only EL. I'm filming inside my garage right now because the weather has been kind of poopy today but anyways here you can see there's the 17 inch aftermarket wheels that I'm not a big fan of they're pretty ugly in my opinion and they're just sort of cheap Falcon wheels anyways and like they're pretty scored up they look pretty rough. Um, <clears throat> you can see the lower seal that my car has and the uh, front lower air dam spoiler and uh, the darker headlights that I mentioned earlier. The chrome is uh, flecking off of the grill and uh, it's got a sunroof of course. Um, here's the sweet rear disc brakes that Civic owners will be envious of. Uh, around back is the different tail lights that the Acura EL had. Uh, I'm just going to squeeze by. Okay, and coming around to my gas door, here you can see my little rust problem that's going on. And it was raining today, so it's actually wet there right now. But I plan to clean this up. I bought a Scratch Masters kit for it that has a base coat and clear coat, all that. So we'll see how that does. <clears throat> and then uh, coming down this side, there's nothing too unique except for the uh, crack that's in the bumper due to my sliding into a snowbank uh, doing uh, ice racing school backwards at about 70 kilometers an hour. Um, here's the interior trim. I don't know if, how well it shows up, but the blue black that runs along the door panel. And then there's more to that inside in the center console and stuff. The gauges are also a little bit different in the EL than the Civic, but that's about it. I mean, there's not much to say. I have a few plans for this car. I mean, I'd like to, I'd like to do something about the uh, altitude problem we got there. I'd like to do something about these ugly wheels too, but I was thinking of doing something on the cheap, like maybe painting them uh, metallic teal or teal or something like that on my own. <clears throat> I still need to do a little drift stitch in the bumper there to fix that up. Um, other than that, I, I obviously I need to do my transmission bearing failure, which is getting worse as days go on. That's, that's about it, really. This car doesn't really need much. 
And uh, I still like I still plan to use it for rally cross throughout the summer. And uh, just as it is, we'll just try to take care of it as best I can. But thanks for watching. If you like this, uh, subscribe. Uh, there's lots of lot of videos and other interesting content on the channel.